Well, I wanted to document the progress a little bit today. Um, I took a few minutes and got my uh, pump and uh, sump well set up. Um, basically, all this is is a storage container. Well, you can't see it there, but um, something. Yeah, so it's just a storage container, the kind that you can get from, you know, a box store. Just made sure it was short enough to fit underneath here so I could slide it out if I needed to. And then uh, the rest of it was just hooking up the uh, connections. Um, I ordered some uh, bulkhead fittings from McMaster um, and uh, put them installed one over there and one over here. And you can kind of see that pump is, is down in there and there's a it was a half inch NPT fitting on the outlet of that and I had a, a swage lock fitting um, left over from one of my other ventures and um, so I was able to get that in there and swaged on to some uh, poly polyethylene tubing and uh, 3 8 inch diameter and then it comes through the bulkhead and goes up and out and around up to the spindle. Um, so, uh, I elected not to just go out and buy a radiator at this point um, for this project because um, I didn't, wasn't really sure that I would need one. Um, from the reading that I've seen of other people's stuff, um, they run this, stu this, this well and they say that the um, temperature of the water doesn't really get very warm over a course of several hours. So... Um, I'm not sure that I really want to invest in that at this point, but it wouldn't be hard to go ahead and put a radiator right here and a fan if I needed to, um, later. So, uh, anyway, that's that. But, uh, I tested it. It, uh, it does circulate quite a bit of water. Um, I'll have to maybe list the pump that I got off of eBay. It was $36, I think. Um, it's just a sump pump. And then uh, what I did is I drilled a hole um, up through there. I probably should have put it on this side, but whatever. And the power cord comes up through there. Um, I did want to mention a little bit about how I drilled the holes because they can be a little tricky. Um, I have, let's see if I can get this to focus on there. I have a bunch of these um, spade bits. And the nice thing about these is this cutting tip. They're not, you don't have that on every kind of spade bit, but this little ridge that rises up um, allows you to get a nice clean edge. And what I did is I drilled, went, marked my hole and then drilled down this way, part way, and then came back up this way and it made a nice clean cut. Um, I will say that the, um, let's see I used a, a 5 16 bit, or 15 16 for the bulkhead fittings. And this one, the uh, for the cord, the the cord end over here um, was bigger than this bit, so I had an inch and an eighth bit that I used on there, and then I just sealed it around with um, some le some duct tape that I had, um, and uh, sealed it from top and bottom, and that. Mainly, I'm not really concerned about, you know, a little bit of water sloshing out if I move it. But I wanted to keep dust from getting back in there, so I kind of got it tighter on the cord there. So, I think it'll work fine. Until um, next time, thanks.